Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here, coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball First Edition. It's a five box random team break, it's a 26 spotter, we got some combos right here. There they are. And there are the names right here. Big thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, I always appreciate that. And congrats to the people who, uh, who won their spots in that Chronicles Baseball filler. All right, let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a five, seven times. Seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck, seventh and final time. After seven, got the Padres-Giants combo down to the Brew Crew-Cardinals combo. All right, Joe with the Padres-Giants combo, Nicholas with the Astros-A's combo, Michael with the Jays, Chris with the Angels, Jimmy with the Braves, Harry with the Mets, Michael with my Dodgers, Craig with the Pirates, Travis with the Royals, Gabe with the Rangers, Adam with the Mariners, Harry with the Red Sox, Steven with the Cubs, Garrett with the Rockies-Marlins combo, Ryan with the Orioles, Brian with the, tw the Twins, Adam with the Guardians, Gabe with the Diamondbacks, Adam with the Nationals, Devin with the Reds, Joe with the White Sox, Jose with the Yankees, Jimmy with the Tigers, Gabe with the Rays, Ryan with the Phillies, and Adam with the Brewers-Cardinals combo. All right, let's alphabetize by team. Uh, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the five-box break. Be right back. All right, hi. Welcome back. So a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done here on a Monday. So that list remains the same in this five box first edition break, which comes individually boxed. All right, so the main guys we're looking for here, Jackson Holiday, Kumar Rocker, Tamar Johnson, Elijah Green. All card chipped though, so and you know, these are prospects, so you kind of have to kind of hold on to these, you know, especially if it's not like immediately a top name. Maybe some of the rest you just hold on to, put them in a box. You know, put 2022 Bowman first edition on it. And then you wait a few years. It's like a time capsule. You wait a few years, you open the box up again and see if any of those guys are good. Look them up a little bit later. You really want to get fancy, I suppose. Uh, I suppose you can put these names in a spreadsheet, and we just look them up later, like a Google Google spreadsheet or something like that. What are the odds for autos in this product? Very slim, Mike Tower. I think it's like one out of every, I don't know, ten boxes or something, like that. Some, something like that. Which is why that uh, Jackson Holiday we pulled out of out of this first edition list was pretty incredible. All 
All right, box one. And I think these light blue parallels, not numbered, but fairly common. There's a Jackson Holiday, Matt's son. All right, so the difference, so that's a Bowman first, first edition first. It's the first of the first. I got Trey Lipscomb to 150. That'll be for the Nationals, that's for Adam. We got Joshua Baez, two out of 75. Joan Baez's son. That'll be uh, four Adam and the Brewers Cardinals combo. Oh, there's an Elijah Green for the Nationals. That's for Adam. We got an Anthony Kids in the Hall. Nine out of 50. Gold for the Yankees. It's going to be for Jose. Wow. Um, all autos or just relics? What was it number two? We had a pretty nice DECA book here. It was out of five, DECA relic out of five. Some nice players there too. Wow, autos? Woo. That is nice. There's Elijah Green, another one. Nice one, Adam. One of the uh, one of the main guys that we're looking for here in this set, Daniel Vasquez in first edition. I thought I heard something nice over there. I didn't realize it was a Deca though, and an auto. There's Tamar Johnson. Pirates, that's for Craig. Think Harper's holding, you think Bryce is holding it up? Yeah, who's not signing on that list there? Who's usually a redemption? We got Tris uh, Tristan Reeling. 25. It's for the Yankees. It's for Jose. We got Nazir Mule or Mule. Who knows? 75 out of 150. Let's See if he makes it to the majors first. I need a different container for this. This goes to the Cubs, Stephen uh, Stephen Buckenheimer. Grab a shoebox. with a bowl, nice. Three one on the ducks.
next box. With all these individually boxed, is that is that a, is that evidence of maybe some of that fanatics financial muscle seeping into uh, the tops uh, production? Maybe. Nice pass. Nice goal. Anything really going on the baseball front today? No, not really. I guess the big news of the day, Giants reportedly postponed Carlos Correa's induction introduction due to medical concern. What's that all about? Yeah, yes, but they don't. They've they've not come in these brown boxes though. They're usually just loose boxes, right? Like shrink wrap loose boxes without the extra brown box. I feel like that's how they usually arrive. So. Yeah, nice Chilo. Correa's ears probably still ringing from that trash can noise. Probably the tinnitus. How many times a week does uh, your recycle have to come empty your container? Yeah, we got pick up twice a week. But yeah, yeah, never in the brown box, right? But it's always been individual box. The first edition has always come in a uh, has never come in like a case. Check out the details on this, this reporting. Now I'm ripping, ripping packs in the next box here. All right, another box. We got a Jacob Misurioski. Misurioski, 34 out of 150 for the Brew Crew. Add them with the Brewers. Another uh, paper, Elijah Green, for Adam and the Nationals. Take it to the house, Brady House. To 150. It's for Adam Kupperman. Ooh, is that a red coming up? Red Walter Ford. Two out of five. Seattle Mariners. Adam Kupperman, with the spot he won, got randomized the Mariners. Gets the two out of five Walter Ford. Yeah, second round pick. Nice, Adam. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Let's just throw that baby in a drawer somewhere, Adam. And then check back in on it in a couple of years and then see where he's at. See, 
second round pick. I think he might have. It looks like he's. Oh, it says planned to attend the University of Alabama. It looks like he graduated out of. Wow, reclassified to graduate high school a year early. He was born in 04. So, drew heavy scouting interest as power hitting infielder, but I guess they got him as a pitcher, right handed pitcher. Six three one ninety eight. All right, all right. So maybe maybe three or four years. Hopefully, see him climb the ranks of the Mariners farm system and becomes a perennial all star. Turns into a Hall of Famer. <laughs> and uh, you know, people will be talking about, oh man, took my kids to go see a Walter Ford start. There's Luis Angel Acuna at twenty five, and then a card sells for a million dollars. Boom. That's the, that's the hope, anyway. That's the plan. Rangers, that's going to be for Gabe. Oh, there's a, I think that might be our first Jackson Hall. If I miss anything, Orioles, don't worry. Obviously, all card shit. Right? Yeah, all card shit. This is Reggie Crawford, 24 out of 50. That'll be for the Giants. Joe with the Giants. And Ryan Heinz has the O's. Let's see if we can find some parallels of this guy. Uh, I love Lamp, 93 out of 150. Joe Lamp. Adam with Cleveland. Another uh, Tamar Johnson. Craig with the Pirates. We got Christopher uh, Pacciola. 51 out of 75. Austin Hendrick to 150. Blue parallel for the Reds. That'll be for Devin. And the Cubs, that will be for Stephen B. Next box. Yeah, Joe Lamp, kind of kind of generic. Gilo, would you like him to have a middle name of uh, middle name floor, middle name desk? I think desk works better, right? Hmm, that's a good question. Mike Tower is asking. I wonder which baseball card set currently has the most rookie cards of Hall of Famer, and how many rookie cards would that be? Like it's from a single year? Like 2012 Bowman draft or something random like that? Oh, uh, by the way, Carlos Correa agreed, they agreed uh, and the Giants agreed to terms last week on a 13-year, $350 million framework for a deal. The structure was pending a physical, as, as these things usually are, and Correa had yet to officially sign the contract. The club was going to introduce him today, but the scheduled news conference was postponed due to a medical concern reports Ronald Bloom of the Associated Press. Early today, Susan Slusser of the San Francisco Chronicle reported that the postponement was related to the fact that the Cub was, quote, awaiting results. What do you think that is? At this point, it isn't known what exactly is causing this holdup, with Bloom's report state simply saying that a, quote, medical issue was flagged. Beyond that, information, anything else is speculation at this point. It isn't publicly known what the issue is or how serious it is. It's also not known if the Giants simply want to conduct further tests 
or have firm evidence that will lead to a deal being called off or restructured. However, the fact that they are at least delaying the official stamp is a situation that will be worth monitoring. Over the past eight seasons, Correa has been one of the best shortstops in baseball, but one knock on him has been durability. This is all according to MLBTradeRumors.com. He has gone to the injured list with various issues in his career, including a torn ligament in his thumb, lower back soreness, a fractured rib. However, he's largely moved past his injury-prone label in recent years. He played 58 games in the shortened 60-game season in 2020, followed by 148 contests in 2021. Though this, this most recent season, he did go on the IL for a finger contusion and went to the COVID IL once, but still got, in, uh, got into 136 games on the year, staying healthy for the entirety of the second half of the season. Could this deal get uh, called off? Slusa reports, uh, well, it's, a, it's worth repeating, and we don't know what the current issue or severity of it is, but Slusa reports that it is not a back problem. What could it be? Should we speculate? Play, play, uh, play internet sleuth? Adam with the Nationals, Elijah Green, and the Robert Hassel at 75. Former uh, big Padre prospect. Yeah, yeah, springing from the thought of rookie cards for each year, how many of those eventually become Hall of Famers? Yeah, might be, yeah. Delo's guessing maybe 1951 or an early 50s Bowman set or something like that. Victor Acosta for the Reds to 150. Another Jackson Holiday, Tamar Johnson, and the Victor Acosta for Devin and the Reds. Jackson Holiday, 75 out of 75. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for here. Ryan Heinz got randomized the Orioles and gets the first first edition, Bowman first first edition, of the first overall pick. Chase DeLotter, 74 out of 150 for Cleveland. That's going to go to Adam. It's Kumar Rocker for Texas. Was that another goal for the LA Kings? It is. Nice throw up 4 1 on the Ducks. Yeah, this is a game they should be easily winning. Who was that? Oh, it's Kevin Fiala. Troy Melton to 25. That Kumar Rocker, by the way, Gabe with the Rangers. Troy Melton will go to the Tigers. That'll be for Jimmy. Uh, Ivan Melendez, 10 out of 50. Look at that. He's fired up. He's flexing. I dig it. Gabe with the Diamondbacks. Jackson Curio, nice. 32 out of 150. 
Nice for the Brewers. That's going to be for Adam. Not as Bowman first, but still nice. All right, next box. Appreciate tops using those using those boxes cuz they're they're the perfect size for people who buy personal boxes and wants it ship sealed. And it's this size, we can recycle those boxes. So yeah, Delo saying 51 Bowman has Whitey Ford, Monty Irving, Nellie Fox, Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays, as far as Rookie Card Hall of Fame. Delo remembers 83 tops with stack two. Sandberg, Gwynn, Boggs rookie cards. That, yeah, it sounds like that 51 Bowman set. It's got, that's got to be it, right? Yeah, now, yeah. See, let, let us know what your research yields, Dan. He's going, in, he's going into a deep dive now. I feel like there was a there was a recent draft class that was a real uh, that was a real monster. Baseball wise, was that a was that the twenty eleven draft? Yeah, the 2011 draft, Garrett Cole, number one overall. Uh, Trevor Bauer was third overall. Dylan Bundy, fourth. And the only guy in the top five, the only guy that I haven't heard of is Danny Holtson, a left handed pitcher out of Virginia that the Mariners drafted. But it's Garrett Cole, Danny Holtson, Trevor Bauer, Dylan Bundy, Bubba Starling played a little bit, Anthony Rendon, Archie Bradley played, Francisco Lindor, Javier Baez. Corey Spangenberg even, you know, played, played well. George Springer, Taylor Youngman, no, I haven't heard of. Brandon Nemo, Jose Fernandez, RIP. Jed Bradley, I haven't heard of. Chris Reed Dodgers. But then CJ Crone, Sonny Gray, Matt Barnes, Tyler Anderson, Colton Wong. Uh, what, who else? Joe Ross, I think he, he's played. Robert Stevenson, Joe Panic. Not bad. I don't know. If, though, I mean, I don't know how many of those are going to be Hall of Famers, but still, in terms of recent memory, that's that's one that I, that popped into my head. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Garrett Cole might have have uh, Hall of Fame possibilities. There's Andrew Pintar. You would think Garrett Cole. Fran I mean, I haven't looked at Francisco Lindor's numbers, but if he puts up certain counting stats from from that shortstop position. You know, he might have a chance. There's Shaylin Polanco to 150. Jimmy looking for some Jace Youngs. I think I've seen any of him yet. There's Elijah Green for the Nats.
was a Tamar Johnson. Is that right? Gilo Gabe is saying that Griffey was the first first overall pick to make it to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Brooks Lee, that's going to go to the Twins. That'll be for Brian. Just no value in that uh, in that number one spot. You aren't getting Hall of Famers out of there. Yeah, the number one overall pick. I think almost in any sport, almost a blessing, a blessing and a curse. Another Tamar Johnson for the Pirates. Is that right? Rodney P was drafted by the A's in the thirteenth round in nineteen eighty nine, but did not sign. There's Jackson Job to 50 for the Tigers. That'll be for Jimmy. Uh, Rodney P does uh, local sports talk radio. Now, I, I, I hear him on my uh, occasionally on my drive down here if I'm listening to that station. There's a yes and Morabelle to 150. That's for the Rangers. That'll be for Gabe. Danny D'Andrade, that's to 75 for the Twins. Jimmy was talking about Jace Young. I'll save one of those for you. Twelfth overall pick. And Brian B with the twins. Final box coming up. Fifth and final. <laughs> yeah, Gilo's confused. There's a Gilo, a Dilo, and a Gabe in this break. So Gilo, Gabe Lopez is just like, what's what's going on? A lot of lows. Although Daniel's last name is is uh, Lewis, so maybe it's D. Lou instead of Low, as in Lopez. Wow, twenty ten draft class. Harper, Machado, Sale, Yelich, and DeGrom. Yeah, try also look up, uh, try to find a site that sells those boxes and look up what some of the box prices are for like 2010 or 2011 Bowman draft. Look at the price of the Mike Trout draft class too. Those Bowman boxes are pretty expensive. But that 89 class, Frank Eugenics Thomas, Trust me, she'll like it too. Jeff Bagwell, Trevor Hoffman, Jim Tomey. Who's in that 2005 draft class, Gabe?
All right. Fifth and final. Good luck, everybody. There's James Triantos. 80 out of 150. Cubbies. That's going to go to Stephen B. Jackson Holiday. Holiday. If we took a holiday, it would be, it would be so nice. That goes to Ryan Heinz. There's Christian Hernandez to 150. Blue parallel, nice little color match for Stephen B. Kumar Rocker for Texas, that's for Gabe P. Reggie Crawford, 74 out of 75. And the rare autograph, that's Ivan Melendez, 54 out of 250, purple chrome autograph. First, first. That goes to Gabe P. and the Diamondbacks. See the gold first edition stamp where my thumb is. On card autograph. Second round pick. Nice. And a Tamar Johnson for Craig and the Pirates. So 05 had Justin Upton, Alex Gordon, Ryan Zimmerman, Ryan Braun, Tulowitzki, Jacoby Ellsbury, Clay Buckholz. Yeah, that isn't that's not bad at all. And we got Jimmy Crooks to 150. Get my hand here. A piece of tape or something. There's Jace Young. There's Jimmy Crooks. I'm not a crook. Crooks. Crookshanks. Longshanks. One ping, one ping only for sure. Got Tanner Scoble, 12 out of 50 for the Twins. That'll be for Brian. Yeah, I remember that. We were, we were, I think we were live streaming uh, Mark Appel's first MLB appearance. Getting that score, that's been a long, long road to haul for him. But really grinded. All those stars in that 05 draft in the Mariners pick, Jeff Clement. I don't even remember Jeff Clement. Did he make it to the majors? There's Jay Allen to 150. There's Cesar Prieto to 75. <laughs> That's right, Dilo. I would have liked to see Montana. Buckaroo. Maybe some American buckaroo. All right. There you go, gang. That's the break. Five box, first edition. Uh, Bowman Draft, Jumbo, and Super Jumbo. Drop tomorrow. Get in on that. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for talking baseball. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.